going on, my peoples? Your boy Big E here. Checking in. We're checking in from uh, Mexico, Missouri. Uh, I'm picking up a trailer here. At, uh, it says Home Decorators Collection, but it's uh, Home Depot. It's going back to Dallas. Is where this load is going. Uh, show y'all basically what I'm doing to uh, hook this trailer up. Make sure uh, the wheels are. Well, I'm not gonna show y'all the part where I slide the wheel, but I'll show y'all the lever that I have to release to uh, to uh, uh, let the wheel slide. But we're gonna show you how to connect this trailer. So, first of all, we gotta hook these lines up. So you gotta service and emergency side, and you gotta let it go with this one hand. So y'all be patient with me. I don't know if y'all. How well y'all are hearing me? Because it's wind is blowing, but we'll see. And it's cold. So, right there is just what we call the service line. It's blue, color coded, makes it easy. Blue, red, blue, blue, red. Electrical. So, right now you see no lights. Make sure we got the right trailer, 235430. That is what is on our bills. We'll come back to that. But we gotta let the landing gears up. Oh and yeah, that's that's what y'all y'all see on the ground is a little snow or frost, ice, whatever you want to call it. But it's pretty cold up here in Missouri. Right now it's around 30, 34 degrees. So that does it slides into place. Yeah. Gotta turn it. I'm turning this with my left hand, one hand, because I'm holding y'all. So, so if you see, it's hard for me to do with left my left hand and holding y'all, but all the way to the trailer sitting on top of that on those landing gears so it makes it hard until you get the weight off of it and then as you can see it's a whole lot easier okay so I'm gonna slide this up and you gotta make sure you get that up off the ground far enough so when you go over railroad tracks that doesn't catch the railroad tracks are a low area, low clearance area. So, we're gonna slide them up. And this is, this stuff is going to the Home Depot distribution center in Dallas. So, for my people who live in the Dallas area, this may be some of y'all stuff. There you go, that's FedEx right there. I don't know how well it's focusing. Go into my. We got to go into my box here, and this is the lock that's gonna go in this trailer. We're gonna shut that. Let's sit this down right here, cause I got a oversized crescent wrench. I use to check my tires. So we got to make sure our tires are all up and I I use an oversized crescent wrench to do it lights blinking one thing as a beginner if you ever get into trucking you need to make sure is the latch is latched around uh, the, the, uh, fifth, the uh, king pin the fifth wheel latch is latched around the king pin I don't know if y'all can see what in there I can see his lash. <sighs> yeah, hold on, I know it's gonna be shaky, but I dropped my oversized crescent wrench on right here. So, we're gonna take y'all to the back of here. So, 
these wheels are slid all the way up. You see a lot of drivers that leave them up there. My weight is not real heavy, so I can leave them up there, but I don't do it normally. I like for them to be back a little bit. Somebody did not latch that, so it's still, I mean, somebody did not uh, undo the handle to slide the wheels, so I don't have to show y'all how it, how it comes out, but you can see my hand. Right here is the handle, and you just pull it out and then slide it down, and it slides into place, and it allows these wheels to move. So we're going to check it with my oversized crescent wrench. We got one good tire, two good tires, three good tires, four good tires. Okay, so we know the tires are good on this side. We got a mud flap there. Back light, it works. So now we got lights, we got lights got lights. They're blinking. Lights and play light works fine. So we're good. On our lights on the back here. Y'all bear with me with this wind. So now what we're going to want to do we want to check the seal. Usually when you pick up there's a seal with a number on it. There you go. There you go the seal number. You can make it out. It ends in 5756. Yeah, 5756. So, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's what it is in. So now, we gotta take our lock. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but I might have to put y'all down. So, this is the lock. You can see in there, it has a let me see in there. Here's a place for a little funny looking key. Y'all bear with me for a minute because I got to get the funny looking key out. So, I got three of them sitting on my key ring. One of them's for the, for this lock. I have to figure out which one it is. Okay, so this is it. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but we're gonna see. And it's getting dark, so it's hard to see in there. So, and it's cold. So, okay, so the key goes in there. We're gonna turn the key, slides all the way over, okay? So, the way this lock, and they call it an enforcer lock again. When you turn it, it's like a pad lock wrapped around the device. So, that part of it, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it comes out. Comes out. Right? And if you look in there, it's just like a pad lock wrapped around a big old boat with notches in it. And when you do that, Slides out like that. See? Slides out like that. So what it does is it wraps around these bars on the back of these trailers. So, hey, I did that. That's pretty good. With one hand. Did it one, did the first time with one hand. So what you do, you can see, is you slide them together. Slide it together. All the way together, as you can see. So I got it with one hand, and you turn this key, which I'm yeah, probably gonna have a problem. You gotta put the lock back into place. It's in place now. Now let's see if we can turn it. No, nope, not all the way. So we're gonna try it again. Hold on, yeah. If this thing doesn't latch all the way in there good, it will not turn. So, y'all give me one minute. 
Okay, so now you can see it's going to turn now. Boom. So it's locked on there. Good luck getting that thing off. I've had people at shippers say they have to cut this stuff off or receivers saying they have to cut that thing off and it takes them 30, 45 minutes to cut it off. So it tells you, it tells you a little bit about it. But we got mud flaps on both sides. We'll check our tires with an oversized crescent wrench on this side. So you gotta check, check our tires. Mud flaps are there. Lights is working. We got a, a signal light, a tail light. So that was good. Switch out to my right hand so yeah, I can see a little bit better. Plus, get a little bit more power. Slapping these tires around with my right hand. So that don't sound good. Sounds like a flat tire to me. Well, almost flat. So, that one's good. Look, most of you guys will, uh, most truckers will get a thump or a hammer, but it's all about sound, is what they're using to tell whether the tire's up or not. Listen to this. Hear that? Versus. So, my crescent wrench does the job just as well. There you go. And there you go. So, we got a flat tire here. Now, what is a saving grace is on newer trailers and the companies that are willing to pay for it. You got a system right there that will air up those tires once I turn that truck on and connect to it. So this tire will not stay flat, but it does need to be replaced. It's losing air from somewhere. So uh, we'll have to make a note of that. Okay, so we're looking at the this trailer to make sure it don't have no holes in it. Obvious holes or somebody backed into it. And either they didn't catch it inside or didn't care to mention it, which from the shipper, you're rarely gonna get that, but from the receiver, you could get it. Shipper, not you're not gonna get it because they don't want to put their product on a trailer with a hole in it. They just tell the company to have it fixed, or they would have it fixed if it was happening on their yard. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna slide those wheels up a little bit, but other than that, that's it. So. Turn y'all back around real quick. Hold on. There you go. So, whew, hold on. All right. So, your boy out here, we pull away, bro. Y'all know that we pull away, and we're here in Mexico, Missouri, and it's cold as hell, but we pulling way down. All right. So, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. You know, with this video, it's a little short video. If you like, if you like it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Uh, go ahead and comment and share it out. You know, do what you do. But for your boy, Big E, we out of here. We finna get uh, on the road and get back to Dallas. Y'all take it easy. God bless y'all. Be careful.